All right. So have you ever had one of those moments, you know, Mm -hmm. where you just feel like hitting that reset button, Mm -hmm. like a whole new chapter is about to begin? Yeah. Like a like you're the comeback kid (laughs) ready to, I don't know, take on the world like a like a whole new you. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Today's deep dive is all about that energy. But through the lens of an actor, I bet, you know, pretty well. I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. Jude Law. Jude Law. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we're not just talking about those early 2000s heartthrob roles. Right. Right. I mean, he's really gone way beyond that and <laughs> built like a really fascinating career. Yeah. Yeah. His career trajectory is really something else. Absolutely. And what's really cool Where? is how he's managed to kind of blend that past yeah. with what he's doing now. It's like he's taken all that all that early stuff and kind of repurposed it. Exactly. A star. What was that phrase? Uh, reinvigorated. A star reinvigorated. Reinvigorated. Yeah. That's from the article we're diving into today. That's right. Jude Law. A star reinvigorated. <laughs> I love that title. <laughs> it's a good one. And it's true, though. Like, it's so easy to just remember him from those, you know, those early roles. Yeah. Yeah. The heartthrob era. But, but that level of fame comes with a price tag, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the scrutiny, the tabloids, it's like... It's relentless. Relentless, yeah. How do you think stars, especially early in their careers, how do they deal with that kind of pressure? I think, well, it's a balancing act, isn't it? There's this this need to protect yourself, your personal life. Right. But at the same time, you have to, you know, cultivate an image, a public image, that right. works for your career. So true. And I think, you know, some stars, they kind of retreat from that, you know, yeah. get overwhelmed. Yeah, they step back. But Jude Law, he he did the opposite. Mm. Yeah. He just kept working, kept putting himself out there. Wow. And that's where I think we start to see this incredible versatility come through. It really is remarkable when you think about it. It is, yeah. I mean, it's not even just that he's been in a ton of movies. It's the range he's shown. Exactly, exactly. Like young Dumbledore in Fantastic Beasts. Right. And then, bam, he's a grizzled FBI agent in Black Rabbit. Totally different. Completely different vibe. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. And the article even mentions how he, like, actively sought out roles that scared him a little. Mm, That's interesting. Push him outside of his comfort zone. Yeah. That's not just luck. That's strategy. Absolutely. That's deliberate. That's knowing what you want and going for it. Right. That's like... You know, you think about actors who are known for disappearing into roles. Yeah. Right. Like, uh, who comes to mind? Oh, um, oh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, yes. Obviously. Oh, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, fantastic example. They completely transform. They become someone else entirely. It seems like Law is on that same path. I think so, yeah. And and he's not even just sticking to acting either. No, no. He he's producing to... too now. Producing, exactly. Which adds a whole new layer, you know, of creative control. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's shaping the stories he wants to tell. And speaking of, speaking of control. Okay. There's this story yeah. about Law on the set of Sherlock Holmes. Okay, I'm listening. Apparently, he had this habit oh. of folding napkins into hats and wearing them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Robert Downey Jr. even nicknamed him Mr. Napkin Head. Oh, that's hilarious. I know, right? Even on a big production like that, he just kept it fun and light. I love that it just, it humanizes these huge stars, you know? Totally. It's a reminder that even at that level of fame, Mm. they're still bringing their own personalities to work, having a laugh. It's some relatable, right? Exactly. Okay, okay, let's get get a little serious for a second. Okay, sure. The article goes into Law's thoughts on Dumbledore. Right. And it's not just about the magic and stuff. Yeah. It's about the character's identity, which is really complex. Right. You can tell he really dug deep with that role. I mean, that's what makes a performance truly great, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just reciting lines. It's truly understanding the character, Yeah. their motivations, their flaws, their journey, the whole thing. Yeah. And actors, they bring their own experiences to that, you know? Right. You can't fake that kind of depth. So true. It has to come from somewhere real. And so what's next for Jude Law? What's he got coming up? Well, let me tell you, he is going to be in Star Wars, Skeleton Crew. Star Wars. Yes. Wow. And apparently he is absolutely buzzing about it. Really? The article even used the phrase childlike wonder, which I thought was just perfect. Oh, I love that. And get this. What? He even fought for specific details about his character. 
No way. Yeah, like his hairstyle. He's not just showing up and collecting a paycheck. He's really invested. Oh, no. He's completely engaged with this project. That's so cool. You know, Star Wars, it just has this incredible pull, even after all these years. It really does. It's like this legacy. And for actors, it's a chance to become a part of that. Wow. To find their own place in that universe. It's pretty amazing to think about. It is. It really is. So what's the takeaway here? What does all this tell us about Jude Law? Hmm. I mean, he's not just back. He's doing it on his own terms. Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. He's redefining what it even means to be a star, you know? And to age gracefully in Hollywood, which can be tough. It really can be, but he's just constantly evolving. And I think it speaks to a larger shift in how we view stars in general. How so? I think authenticity has become really important. Mm. Audiences connect with actors who are genuine, who are true to themselves. That's true. Who are willing to take risks. So Jude Law, actor, producer, the napkin hat enthusiast. The napkin hat enthusiast, yes. He's proof that reinvention is always possible no matter what stage of life you're in. Couldn't agree more. So I got to ask you before we go. All right, sure. What part of his journey like really sticks with you? Mm, that's a good question. And what about you? What's your comeback story? Oh, well, now you've got me thinking. Something to ponder, right? Definitely something to ponder. We'll see you on the next deep dive. See you then.